Make sense, sir. Come in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Have your seat, Rajesh. Thank you, sir. You are a physician. Yes, sir. So you must have taken your vaccines. Yes, sir. Okay. So you may remove your mask, uh, given the fact that your chair is kept at a safe distance from us. Thank you, sir. Okay, introduce yourself. Sir, my name is Rajesh Kumar Mohan. Sir, I come from uh, Haryana's Rotak district. I have done my secondary schooling from uh, uh, 16 model Chandigarh. Thereafter, I did my graduation in MBBS from Government Medical College Chandigarh. I also have a work experience of around three years in Indian Ordinance Factory Health Services as Assistant Medical Officer. At present, I am on COVID duty at Central Jail Hospital, Tihar Prison Complex. Okay. How long you are working in Tihar? Sir, uh, I joined during the second wave of pandemic. So, it has been more than three months now. Okay. So, the great job. Thank you, sir. Uh, why do you want to switch your job? Sir, uh, at present, because there was a need for the country and it is as per the ethics also that when country needs, we should give our services that uh, I have, uh, I'm doing the COVID duty. In the long uh, uh, run, I see that uh, I would be able to expand my field if I pursue a career in civil services, sir. So you are a better equipped to this. How do we distinguish between uh, breakthrough COVID and uh, long COVID? Uh, sir, uh, breakthrough uh, COVID would be that if a person is vaccinated, even after the protection of vaccine, uh, the person uh, contacts the infection and while other uh, in other case uh, in the known uh, breakthrough cases so it would be that person is not vaccinated even then he, uh, the person has got the disease as such so uh, we will see uh, uh, the history of vaccination if the history of vaccination is there then it is a case of uh, breakthrough uh, breakthrough infection and what is long covid sir so pardon me sir can you Long of COVID, somebody is using this fridge. Sir, sorry, sir, I don't know, sir. I've read about it. Uh, people say that the symptoms of COVID linger for quite long period. Yes, sir. So, what are those symptoms which continue for all, up to one year or maybe beyond one year? Yes, sir. Uh, there are multiple post COVID complications, as we call in our hospital. So, uh, uh, f uh, mental health is the biggest post COVID complication. So, people have uh, uh, stress, anxiety, sleep issues. Along with that, uh, there are high, uh, a large number of uh, cases of uh, hair fall, the telogen effluvian, that uh, condition is there. And uh, even uh, 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 the post-COVID uh, hyperglycemia uh, is also seen frequently. At the same time, certain, uh, in certain age groups where the immunity is low, so certain opportunistic op uh, infections do come up, up. For example, mucormycosis, fungal infections. So these are major post-COVID complications. Sir. So what is your anticipation? How long this uh, coronavirus is likely to continue? And when the world is going to get rid of it? Sir, uh, Coronavirus as such, as a public health problem, uh, it is a pandemic now. It will uh, take, uh, say, uh, one to, uh, it will depend on how the things will change. For example, uh, would there be a mutation or not? So, uh, what kind of mutation happens? Uh, to what extent we are able to ensure that more and more people get vaccinated, not only in India, but in uh, in Western countries along with the uh, uh, developing countries also. So all these factors will decide uh, whether a pandemic would continue to be a public health problem or not. However, it is going to be remain as an endemic disease afterwards. Okay. Yes. Thank you, sir. So, Dr. Gentleman, uh, you are working still with Tihar Jail. Yes, sir. The most important disease in Tihar Jail so it can be categorized in two parts. One is physiological and second is psychological. My first question related to physiological. In, in physiological disorder, uh, actually diseases, uh, prevalent one in Tihar jail, uh, 
particularly six and eight barrack cancer asthma right tb hepatitis b or c right what are the reason of hepatitis b or c that is very prevalent among what actually look prisoners in tihar jail b and c sir hepatitis b is a, a disease which is transmitted through parenteral route so uh, uh, it is because of uh, first of all that a uh, large proportion of uh, uh, jail inmates uh, are drug addicts so because of that needle uh, they get then there is also because of uh, 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 some crimes uh, associated with sexual nature yes so that is there in fact uh, in uh, central jail hospital tihar itself there are some uh, there is a uh, there are high cases of sodomy mm. so that are reported so look what generic uh, medicines used to uh, advise to what uh, your patients generic medicines related to what uh, hepatitis b or c not any branded what are the generic medicines there sir uh, for hepatitis b we use antivirals like uh, okay. what antiviral sir uh, uh, for example oseltamivir what is the what is the salt of what that particular medicine salt you see the what it must uh, uh, share composition sir i am unable to recollect right now so i will read about it very difficult then how he advise okay my next question that is related to psychological problem and psychological problems and psychosis neurosis are there and most of the time you have to look after there is psychologist but you have to look after because they consider this a physiological problem uh, having psychological problem psychological problem, hallucination illusion yes, much more among what actually those prisoners who have got uh, look uh, 10 year 20 year imprisonment they are suffering from look actually hallucination what are the what analysis of hallucination here uh, sir uh, mental you must interact because yes. look psychiatrist and you have to interact and then you have to uh, actually give the proper treatments so what why hallucination among uh, prisoners sir uh, hallucination uh, of are of various types auditory mm -hmm. and uh, visual hallucinations sir some are because of certain uh, illnesses for example schizophrenia is there that also causes hallucination mm -hmm. then uh, uh, acute psychosis can uh, acute yes. drug abuse can cause got, hallucination got got my point got my point at you the same time you, sir you you did work in chandigarh yes sir uh, chandigarh used to be called in india capital of what uh, look diabetes my question is what why diabetes much prevalent among high class of residents of what look uh, chandigarh mohali and pachkula sir this is because uh, diabetes as such has a origin in lifestyle so uh, because of uh, uh, because of a uh, sedentary lifestyle so obesity rates are more when obesity is more then it results in uh, resulting in alcoholism to what extent alcoholism is responsible for look universal diabetic case in three what actually cities sir uh, alcoholism uh, may be acting as a uh, toxin which can damage the uh, beta cells of pancreas yes but yes. the bigger problem sir again got point yes sir. got point look <laughs> my another question that is very typical suppose you are dm brothak you know the what chinese society what uh, haryana society very much patriarchal look one thing is very neglected across india particularly in what uh, look haryana that is management of post menopause syndrome yes sir. so as a dm of rohtak how you solve this particular problem how you tackle this particular problem what particular scheme you will start because all health sector of district comes under a dm how sir uh, so my approach would be a two fold approach one would be that all the institutional care that has services that are to be delivered through the health department that is available at the same time the bigger problem is uh, health seeking behavior of the females as such what would be the role of asa behan ji and yes, aganwari so and ngos yes please yes sir so they can change the attitude so attitude change a more health seeking 
uh, attitude can be promoted. Look, these, for, they, these individuals are themselves are women and they have what actually local language and a huge penetration in society. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. Thank yes, you. Sir. Thank you, yes, doctor. Sir, they are our frontline workers, sir, yes. in this case. Sir. Hello, Dr. Rajesh. How are you? I'm good, sir. Doctor, how can you define the food security? Yes, sir. So, uh, food security would be that, first of all, availability of the food should be there, accessibility of the food should be there, mm -hmm. and at the same time, there should be enough reserves in order to take care of any uh, any uh, any emergency that arises. So, there should be certain reserves also, sir. And nutritional food is not there? Sir, that would be, sir, nutritional security, sir. It will not come under the food security. So it would also be a part if we see food as a, a nutrition, nutrition. The right security. quality of goods should be there. Yes, sir. Food there should be there. So, government is now focusing more on the fortification of the rice now. How does this fortification of rice will ensure the food security in India? Sir, uh, fortification is the most cost-effective short-term measure in order to take care of hidden hunger. Uh, especially deficiency of micronutrients. Mm. So, in case of rice, for example, uh, we are planning that by 2024, uh, 2022, we would have uh, all our government distributed food, forti uh, rice dis uh, um, fortified with uh, iron, uh, folic acid and uh, vitamin B12. So, this will take care of anemia. Uh, iron deficiency anemia as well as the megaloblastic anemia. Both the Good. anemias will be taken okay. care of. Okay, uh, Dr. Rajesh, uh, what we are seeing that uh, we are leading in pharma, yes, sir. Uh, especially in generic medicine, but at the same time we have a huge dependence uh, on the import of API, especially from the China. So, how? what are the measures that we will take to reduce dependence on China so that we can be Atmanirbhar on the uh, medicines or pharma sector also? Sir, uh, in this case, we should go for supporting our industry because of the cheap Chinese imports. We are uncompetitive in this field. We are not able to make uh, these uh, active pharmaceutical ingredients. So, what are the measures that we will take? Sir, uh, we would have to support the industry. Uh, right now, we are having production linked incentive scheme in order to support the industry. At the same time, what is this PLI? How can you define this PLI? Sir, a PLI scheme, uh, it uh, focuses on giving incentives to the industry based on incremental increase in production. Great, great. Yes. Now, what are the other measures? Sir, along with uh, uh, these kind of schemes, we should uh, also uh, ensure that there is a proper public-private pr partnership in this case. So that uh, there are, in fact, uh, government planning to have a public sector undertaking trying to start this process to uh, mm. have a kick next back. next would be sir uh, sir the the raw material for that we have to ensure that raw material for making these are uh, seamlessly available our tax jurisdictions uh, our tax uh, our imports and um, export tax should be in such okay, a way Dr. Rajesh, uh, is fdi allowed in pharma sir uh, Sir, FDI is allowed, but I'm not sure uh, exact percentage how much is okay. allowed. Sir. Not in brownfield and uh, greenfield, how much is there? Sir, I will read about okay. it, sir. I... My last question is with you. Uh, actually, uh, we have the compulsory license provision uh, to waive of the uh, patent of any medicines or a vaccine whenever there will be emergency in the uh, emergency situation. But uh, having this uh, compulsory license provision, India, South Africa and many other countries reached TRIPS Council to get the waiver for the vaccine and the other medicines which are related to the COVID-19. So, uh, why is there need to go there if we have the compulsory license provision? Sir, we have compulsory licensing provisions, but there are challenges if we implement it uh, at present. Uh, at present, our solution should be that we have all these drugs available. Mm -hmm. For that, the, util uh, the foreign co uh, companies, multinational companies, they should be coming uh, uh, in order to support us technologically. For example, even this uh, uh, COVID shield vaccine is there. Uh, so it has uh, it was made in oxford university 
so uh, we should have a uh, environment which should allow that intellectual property rights of these companies are protected at the same time if we go for compulsory licensing our own companies uh, uh, what is the production capacity so it will take time in order to even if we implement compulsory licensing uh, it will take time to ramp up the production to get uh, so it will uh, have challenges at, uh, in this regard but if we go for international mechanism so uh, there would be a uniformity across the world uh, so that would be one time very good very of, good doctor yes, thank sir. you sir please dr rajesh how are you feeling today sir i'm feeling very good sir what do you understand by a term called herd immunity sir uh, herd immunity is uh, uh, a term used to signify that if a certain popul uh, population in a uh, certain percentage of population in a community it has antibodies against a particular uh, infection to a limit so that uh, the virus or any pathogen does not transmit to other un uh, unprotected individuals so for example if there is a uh, if we take an example say 100 people are there so uh, we vaccinate say 60 to 70% of them uh, or maybe natural mechanism through that the immun uh, the immunity is there in these individuals so if a case would come so the most of the people that uh, that case would encounter would be uh, immune individuals and those uh, seven uh, 30 percent people 30 people who don't have maybe they may not come in contact with uh, the vi okay. virus or pathogen how sir. is uh, positivity rate different from fatality rate sir uh, the uh, slight positivity rate is that how many samples we are taking out of which uh, how many are uh, what percentage is coming positive uh, for a particular what is fatality percentage? rate Fatal, case fatality rate is sir uh, how many people are getting infected and how many people are dying out are of are you sure about it yes sir okay uh, suppose you are a district magistrate and we are expecting a third wave one interesting innovative step that will that you as a district magistrate will take that will motivate people to wear masks you see people are not wearing masks these days what interesting step you will take as a dm so in order to have a mask wearing we should use the local uh, local artists and folk singers in fact i have a hobby of folk singing haryanvi ragni singing so we can use this pl platform in order to change the attitude of the people second would be that uh, uh, whenever i go i uh, say i visit schools or some other places so i will encourage the especially students to become as a torch bearer of uh, uh, attitude uh, uh, reinforcement so if uh, we educate the student uh, students uh, the children when they will go home so th when uh, in that case uh, 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 the emphasis on that would be more when the if this as in haryana the schools are open sir this is, uh, don't you think it is it will do you think it will really motivate people to wear mask i mean people are i mean following lekadesical approach in reality do you think it will motivate people sir it depends sir how much effort we are putting into this behavioral change communication that means you are for. hopeful yes sir i am hopeful that people will abide by it sir. uh now dr rajesh uh, various ngos and especially the ncrb data reflects that sexual harassment of a girl child is very common at a early age by the nearest and dearest relatives as an authority as a district magistrate i mean how will you ensure that these cases are not piled up against and um, what is wrong with i mean why so many cases are coming up what is wrong with the entire uh, happenings sir this is uh, on account of lack of uh, first of all awareness with uh, of the children with regard to right touch and wrong touch so parents are not uh, able to educate their children about this kind because it is a taboo in the society talking about the sex related aspects okay second is that uh, the reporting mechanism uh, generally if this kind of thing happened within the society the report there is huge under reporting so that is an issue in you know, what is wrong with the cultural aspect there is anything wrong with the cultural aspect of it sir uh, the issue is that we don't talk about these issues with our children so that is the biggest issue so because of that uh, the child tries to first of all thinks uh, so he doesn't he or she doesn't know how to respond to it uh, this kind of uh, event so which uh, may have very negative consequences later on on his psychological development and other problem so uh, issue is that we don't talk about these matters at uh, in the home that's all from my side ma'am
Rajesh, you are from Haryana and you worked in Chandigarh. Yes, ma'am. Chandigarh is often called Tussle City or Tussle Capital. Why? Ma'am, because it is a common capital of Haryana and Punjab. Do you think it is actually a Tussle Capital? Ma'am, uh, there are instances where, uh, for example, the 60-40 ratio, there are concerns from both sides, uh, what should be there. Then, uh, with regard to... Uh, for example, recently Vidhan Sabha uh, of Haryana passed a resolution saying that uh, more number of uh, uh, rooms should be available from Har Haryana legislature. At the same time, uh, if any change for any new kind of reforms are being made, so there is a conflict uh, that arises between the two states, how to uh, go about it on uh, common ground is not there. Sir. What is your opinion on uh, having a separate high court for Haryana? That's what Haryana government has yes, been asking for. What is your opinion on that? Ma'am, uh, uh, I think the, there is a need of a separate high court because the cases are so, uh, cases are piling up. We need more judges and, uh, uh, and the, uh, infrastructure also would be uh, promoted so that more number of uh, people would be able to assess the uh, justice as such. So there is a need for a separate high court. There are provisions for a separate high court. If you court had to suggest an alternate capital for Haryana, which one yes, would it be? Ma'am, uh, I, I will uh, suggest that uh, uh, we should take into account the geography and the presence of already existing infrastructure. So any city which suggest would be... Suggest me the name of the city. Ma'am, we can go for Jind. Uh, it is called the heart of Haryana because it is the center. We can also go for Rotak because it has already some infrastructure build up. Uh, it is also uh, at the around the center of uh, Haryana. Or we can, uh, sir, uh, ma'am, these uh, places we can look at. But you just now told uh, the board that you are interested in Ragini. Yes, ma'am. What is theme of Ragini generally? Ma'am, generally broadly two types of themes are there. One is mythological, and one is the folk tales. The kissas are there. So. In that case, uh, folk tales, all the common uh, happenings of the society, for example, uh, folk tale of say Puran Bhagat is there, some other local person is there. Uh, so uh, the experiences like. Uh, Don't you see some kind of sexist bias in Raginis? Yes, ma'am, uh, there are uh, sexist biases in Raginis, uh, but there are also certain progressive but things. But promoting happening. an art like that, which has. A sexist bias, doesn't that make you patriarchal? Ma'am, uh, it has both the elements, ma'am. There are elements of female empowerment also. And uh, there are sexist uh, uh, issues to it, biases to it. So we should reduce the uh, percentage of, uh, uh, rather eliminate the biases uh, and uh, go for uh, uh, themes around women empowerment. In fact, during Beti Bacha Beti Padhao Abhiyan, Certain raganis were also made on uh, women empowerment. I also see that you're a staunch supporter of mental health. Yes, ma'am. Uh, tell me, should we give uh, sick leave for mental health? Ma'am, uh, sick leave, uh, it will depend on the kind of condition that is there. So, uh, but such provisions, do you think uh, we need such provisions? Ma'am, uh, in case uh, uh, the severity is more, then we should uh, consider because if a person is working with the uh, uh, with a severe mental condition that can impact uh, the working as such. So negative consequences, some disasters can also happen. So the uh, the person would not be able to uh, uh, discharge his or her duties in that case. So we should go for uh, Thank you, that Rajesh. kind of thing. Thank you, ma'am. Rajesh, sir, what is the status of Indo-Russia relationship? Sir, uh, our uh, relationship with Russia uh, have been historical relationships. But the issue is that we are mostly, the the defense arm of our relationship is very strong. However, the uh, uh, trade-related economic arm is very weak at present. Recently, we also see that there is a kind of, uh, uh, because of our improving relationship with USA, uh, the our relationship with Russia, we have to do a balancing act. And that is being also witnessed in the Afghan issue where uh, we were not able to have a common uh, strategic option uh, while responding to the Afghan crisis. Looking at the vast potentials of the Arctic Council, do you think it is a lack of vision on the part of the policymakers in India to give uh, lower importance to this relationship? 
Sir, uh, our, uh, we are observer at uh, Arctic Council, but there are certain, uh, because a full-time membership would require uh, uh, some geographical, uh, uh, other members also to allow us uh, to become its part. So that is an issue that is there. Uh, at the same time, we are trying to, with, uh, we have limited capability. So with the limited capability, only we would have to uh, project our uh, uh, power there in the Arctic region and to use it for uh, our strategic uh, aims. Uh, even in Afghanistan, because we sided with America, we have been outsmarted now? Sir, uh, I would not say that we have been outsmarted. Uh, we have now lesser number of strategic options. But we should not call it as a doom as of now, because uh, rather go for strategic patience. Options will open up for Af uh, India in Afghanistan because of multiple reasons. For example, now we are at a uh, global stage. We are, at, uh, we are uh, having one month presidency of United Nations Security Council. We are also heading the Talib uh, Taliban section committee. So uh, how the things will unfold, we can uh, drive the debate there. At the same time, if say Taliban, uh, uh, if it gets reformed as they are saying, and they would be seeking for international legitimacy and would also uh, would require to have certain autonomy, if, uh, especially from Pakistan. So there is an opening for India to uh, influence uh, matters in Afghanistan. Do you think strategic silence is a smart phrase for policy paralysis? Yes, sir, uh, because the word strategic is used, so it would not be uh, this that only a for smart, uh, smart phrase. Yes, sir, it is a smart phrase in the sense sir, that now because uh, uh, at present we are not having limited options and there is a scope of options opening up in a near, near time frame. So, uh, plus we are also not aware how the Taliban would be behaving exactly because the words and actions may be differing. So in that case, we can always think of changing the strategy what we follow at It present. also indicates that our Ministry of External Affairs didn't do its homework before taking presidency of the Security Council. We are not aware means what? In this age of information, how can we excuse ourselves by saying that we, do, we are not aware of what are they are planning? Sir, uh, Taliban was a non-state actor. So, uh, we cannot take their words for granted. That is an issue plus I feel even USA and other uh, powers were caught by surprise by the speed with which Taliban took over Afghanistan. So, uh, uh, from our perspective, we have been uh, giving military support to the uh, Afghanistan uh, government previously. We were also trying to talk to USA in order to have a common ground there. But Russia, China have been quick to respond that they recognize Taliban. Yes, sir. So what is, uh, what do you think? Their policy stand versus India's and America's policy stand. Which stand is more pragmatic? Sir, uh, in case of India, we have uh, uh, the fear of uh, uh, Taliban become, uh, the Afghanistan becoming a nursery for terrorism, especially in Jammu and Kashmir. There were uh, in the uh, previous, uh, uh, during the previous a regime of Taliban, we did face the problems in our Jammu and Kashmir uh, region. So uh, uh, we have to see how the uh, Taliban, so this kind of uh, uh, threat is not there with the Russia, uh, so to say. So, uh, that so is do you the think that Russia and China are indirectly um, promoting uh, that uh, nursery of terrorism? Sir, uh, Rush, uh, they are going for, uh, they are trying to fill the vacuum that has been created. So, uh, under their uh, foreign policy, they are trying to, uh, first of all, China is trying to show to the world that USA is not a dependable partner. So, they want to emerge as a superpower in that uh, uh, aspect. So, they are trying to fill the um, vacuum created out of uh, this uh, sudden changes that are happening in Afghanistan, heart of Asia, sir. Nice talking to you, Rajesh. Your interview Thank is you, over. Sir. You may Thank you, sir. sir. Have your seat, Rajesh. Thank you, sir. You appeared in UPPCS also? Yes, sir. What was the performance there? 
Yeah, I got 75 out of 100, sir. That's very good. So, you got? Superintendent of jail, sir. My Hindi marks were very low. Okay. So, you didn't join there? Uh, sir, I didn't join sir. I didn't join there. Okay, so you uh, you have some uh, inbuilt association with jail. <laughs> hmm? Here again in Tihar you are working and you, UP also have got superintendent of jail. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, see, uh, today's performance is simply outstanding on all the parameters, all the dimensions. So really we have nothing to suggest to you. You are perfectly ready. I am prepared to appear in interview and the only thing just for the sake of suggesting you something I just see that watch your video your eye contact may become more stable though it is fine it is not okay, that sir. bad initially it was uh, oscillating here and there but rest of the things are very good that means entry is good your sitting posture is very gracious your uh, facial expressions are positive and your stand on most of the things are very progressive, cool and calm and composed, uh, your demeanor is. Uh, your comprehension is very good. That means you understand in the very first instance the core intention of the question. And uh, your formulation of answer is also very smart. That means uh, at the very the quickly you formulate your answer and with a kind of crystal clarity and objectivity you present it. So, what UPC expects that your exposition should be logical and clear, that's perfectly in line with that expectation. Uh, your analysis uh, in different kind of situations is also very uh, good, very quick and in-depth analysis. You capture different dimensions of an issue. So, that's also outstanding, wonderful. And uh, whether it is medical science or IR or economy, or almost uh, with the pharmaceutical industry and why dependence on that and uh, Indo-Russia versus Indo-America relationship, the nuances, why we are having a particular kind of, that means you could justify why strategic silence is a good policy. That's very impressive. Thank you, sir. Okay. So all throughout, uh, we are very highly impressed. Thank you. And we expect you to be uh, some kind of rank holder this year. Thank you, sir. Uh, with God's grace, you have got good marks and means all the best. Sir, the initial salutation of a Namaste, is it fine, fine. because yeah, the COVID? Uh, this good. make you special. Yes, sir. Always. Thank you. To maintain this. And this yeah. is how you have to maintain this. Yes, sir. Not to get overconfidence. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Maintain this. Listen, doctor. Your interview is going to happen half. Half interview. Going to happen Tihar Jail. Right? Half. Must be one and two member from Tihar. Okay, sir. By different what responsibility. So, you use integrated approach dealing. One is yoga, second psychological. Yoga, I forget to ask. Yoga, psychological and then physiological. Give minimum emphasis on physi physiological. Give maximum emphasis on what? First yoga, then psychological. Yes. Minimum drugs injected. That is the latest policy. Yes, sir. There is a project Samarthan also yes, going yes, on. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah, yes, sir. One, two member have experience. Senior IS was there, retired. IPS would be there. Okay, all the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.